men are some of the most stupid creatures on this planet. They're so f delusional. They love to call us delusional, but do you know what? Do you know what just happened to me? I am seriously not made for this new way of dating. Like every guy I meet either just wants to get in my pants and not get to know me or they want to marry me but then don't want to put the effort into it or maybe the ones that I actually like doesn't want to communicate they don't want to put like a label on it and he's gonna try and lead me to try and do that bro he's gonna come crawling by like it's so bad give me the strength lord like where are the hopeless romantics out there gentlemen welcome back to another video of women regretting hookup culture give me the sip rep and let's start with this one right here that you saw in the intro guys i put this video first because it summarizes all women in hookup culture so let's read me sending the i'm not ready for a relationship text to a guy who's literally obsessed with me knowing that if my old situationship who doesn't care about me said he wanted to date i 100 would all right so Women, okay, guys, in the eyes of women, fall into two categories. The good guys, the guys with morals, the guys who want serious relationships, they are into this category of they are obsessed, they are annoying, you know, uh, I don't want them, they are boring, they don't bring in the butterflies. And then the bad guys, the toxic ones, the emotionally unavailable men, they are in this category of, oh, I'm really thirsty for him, I need to chase him. I'm going to devote my life to him. I'm going to drive two hours in a thunderstorm to get to his house on a Tuesday night to have a hookup. All right, so most women in today's society and all women in hookup culture fall into this category. All women are like this. So th th there's not even a need to continue with this video because all women that we're going to see are exactly like that. Okay, no, I will continue, but for real, like every woman that you're going to see has this problem and you are to blame. No one else is to blame. You haven't sorted your, your priorities and you are the one responsible for picking the bad man. But now, guys, let's continue on to our second woman. A man really likes you, loves you, whatever. He cannot fathom the idea of you being with someone else. So if you're seeing someone for a period of time and they're not pushing the gas on putting a title on you he probably doesn't like you that much he probably doesn't want to be with you just take that as a warning sign because a man would feel sick to his stomach if he really wanted a woman and liked her to think of her with someone else they would want to claim you as their woman because they don't want to have someone else to have access to you so if you're in a situationship for way too long cut the cord that man doesn't want to be with you. A man will just push the gas on what he wants and he'll go after it if he truly wants something. He won't be indecisive and he won't play games. He'll just be like, this is my woman. This is the woman I want to be with. I don't want anyone else to be with her, period. A woman really like this sort of content because, you know, the, the girl is attractive and, you know, she's in her home. Uh, it seems like she has everything figured out. Uh, but this woman is single, <laughs> you know, so why don't you take advice from a woman who is in a marriage and can tell you what has kept her marriage for 10 years uh, instead of hearing it from some bimbo. Yes, she is attractive. Yes, she seems decisive. Uh, it seems that she knows what she wants and everything she said, I agree with, uh, but that doesn't change the matter of why are you listening to dating advice from a woman who is single? It just doesn't make sense to me, guys. And the, the thing, the problem I have, so you will ask, Kiran, but if, if everything she said is correct, what is the problem? Uh, the problem is that she is single. And the problem is that all women who listen to her advice are also single. You know why? Because they never follow this advice. They hear it just sort of like so they can sleep better at night, you know, so uh, for, for a moment they feel like they're on the right path. But, but they never follow this right 
uh, they will never take action and actually change their behavior. They just like to listen to it. And then, uh, it, you know, it, it goes uh, from one ear to the other and it leaves their brain in a second. Men are some of the most stupid creatures on this planet. They're so f delusional. They love to call us delusional. But do you know, do you know what just happened to me? I was in a situation with a dude, okay? And he's like, I love you, whatever. We're like playing around, like we're talking. He likes me a lot. He's like, I like you so much. You're so beautiful. You're so special. And then he spends one day with one girl on a weekend, which he asked me permission to go to. And then he like, we like hang out the next day. He's like, actually, I'm not into you anymore. I want to be with her. Now, okay, fine, normal. What it, well, it's not that normal. It's kind of <laughs> pissy, but like, okay, fine. Okay. The only problem is she's gay. So I look at him and I'm like, like, okay, you're into her, but like, are you going to try to get with her? Because I don't know what the frick, this voice is on crack. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to try. And I'm like, isn't she gay? And she's like, he's like, oh, she dated men before, so she'd be fine. She dated and dumped men for a reason. There's, how do he thinks he can change her old sexuality? So apparently all men are delusional and stupid uh, because this one situation that she had uh, turns out to be extremely dumb. You know that you could go for the other 99.9% .9 of men who are, you know, into hetero girls and you wouldn't have these sort of problems. You know you could do that, right? But no, guys, apparently all men are delusional. All right delusional men are mm -hmm. and he's gonna try and leave me to try and do that bro he's gonna come crawling back like it's so bad give me the strength lord so my question is who is more delusional and stupid in this situation is it the guy who is stupid and delusional or is it you who are chasing the man who is stupid and delusional not to accept him in my life again it is so bad like how 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 does that make sense so I used to talk to this guy and for the sake of this video, his name is Tim. So me and Tim were situating, if you get me, never got into a relationship, but no boundaries, none whatsoever. In typical Aquarius style, I ghosted him whenever he would do fuck shit. Ah, uh, guys, I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, the, edit the editor edited the music out, even though I, I think classical music is not copyrighted on YouTube, but uh, you can hear Chopin's Nocturne, Opus 9, number 2, or, you know, just famously known as Chopin's Nocturne, uh, which is his m most known work in the background. <laughs> so we have, like, this really sophisticated and classy person, but at the same time, uh, she's talking about situationships and that she is an Aquarius. <laughs> There's something very odd about this video, and it will be her hair. But I don't know, just I feel really dissociated with this video. And guys, you, you can maybe not trust me on this one, but the moment I saw her, I knew she was an Aquarius. And saying that you're an Aquarius, oh, that's just so Aquarius. It's not okay, but it is. So long story short, me and Tim became friends again a few months ago. Like actually friends, not like, you know, nah, nah, friends. So our first hangout as friends was us just like getting coffee, catching up. And he confided in me about some stuff going on with his family. Guys, we're going to pause it right here just to mention this is what women mean when they tell you, ah, he's just a friend. <laughs> you know, the he's just a friend meme. It's literally a guy who she's been shaking up for months or years. But, but he's just a friend, you know. And it's not to say that he never talked about his family before, because he did, but he never opened up about this, like, really important aspect of his childhood. And it made me feel really bad, because I realized in that moment that I had romanticized him so much that I didn't look at him as a person. Like, in my mind, he was just like a nice puzzle piece to my fantasy. He was like the one that got away or whatever, even though that's really me. And like, I cared about him, but I feel like since I was looking to him for certain things, I just never really considered that he could be struggling, that he could be, you know what I'm saying, still going through trauma from his childhood and things like that. But yeah, in that moment of him just like being super vulnerable, I feel like that was the first time that I really looked at him as a person. Not my imaginary boyfriend, not my crush, 
not this, you know, fine ass man who also happens to be my friend, but as a person who's been through a lot and just kind of needs somebody to talk to. So I say all that to say, if you find yourself romanticizing somebody that you like, understand that you're doing a disjustice to yourself and also to that person too. I don't necessarily have the answer as to how to not do that, other than to maybe like limit your physical interactions, you know, in that way. But that experience definitely made me realize like, okay, if I like a man, you know, I've always cared about the friendship aspect, but let's, let's not romanticize everything he does. Him texting you good morning is not that deep. Him telling you that you look pretty, it's not that serious. Bitch, you always look pretty. Basically, all I'm saying is if you catch yourself catching feelings for somebody, run. No, I'm kidding. Um, remember that they're a person too. And remember how you feel when people do that to you. Because as a woman, as a fine woman, might I add, I can always tell in conversations when somebody isn't looking at me as a person, and I hate it. It really disgusts me. Which is why I probably felt so disgusted with myself for doing that to somebody I care about a lot. So I remember how that makes you feel, like less than a person. And uh, yeah, try not to do it to other people. So guys, you may have missed it, but she casually mentioned how this guy was really attractive, you know? He was just really well looking, which is important to consider as to why she is romanticizing it, all right? Women never romanticize guys who are good or treat them well, you know? They never romanticize that aspect of a man taking care of them or willing to take a bullet for them. That is not what they romanticize. What they romanticize is a guy looking attractive and, you know, being emotionally unavailable. <laughs> that is their, you know, their, their value system, guys. That is their priority. So, and it's sort of interesting to get insight into what they actually think. Like these women, guys, they say they're worth it so much, you know, they, they feel like the universe revolves around them. But when they see a bad boy who is emotionally unavailable, they literally simp for him in the same way that simps uh, simp for, I don't know, a Twitch creator who they give like $500 of their monthly salary to. You know, it's just incredible levels of simpery that these women are willing to go, uh, go through uh, in order to have a little attention from that chat. Because a lot is mentioned about men simping, which they do, but let's not forget about women's simping. You know, chasing chat is equally as toxic and fanatic as the, you know, the usual meme of ma male simps. Cool. I am seriously not made for this new way of dating. Like every guy I meet either just wants to get in my pants and not get to know me, or they want to marry me, but then don't want to put the effort into it. Or maybe the ones that I actually like doesn't want to communicate. They don't want to put like a label on it. Like where are the hopeless romantics out there? All right, let me pause it for a minute because she mentioned a lot of groups. Uh, this man that, you know, like me, but I don't like back. And this man that yada, yada. And she mentioned like six groups. There are only two groups. All right. The men who are not available and the men who are available. The men who are available fall into that group of uh, they like me, but I don't like them back. Or, or, you know, they like me, but we're not meant for each other. And you can give a lot of excuses. Uh, they like me, but uh, there is an age difference. They like me, uh, but uh, they're not a, a Capricorn. Or they like me, but there is no communication, whatever. You know, it's, it's all excuses for saying there are no butterflies. You know, they're available, and that makes them, um, you know, unnecessary for me. You know, guys, because women have so much validation coming their way. They don't need more. Like, guys are taught in this way that if you like a woman, you should gift her flowers, you should text her good morning every day, uh, you, you know, you should be really attentive, etc. And yes, women used to like that. You were born three generations ago. But nowadays, guys, it's the worst thing, it's the worst thing you can do for most women. They don't value it. You know, they are attention seekers. They are thirsty for attention and validation. But not from the men who are willing to give it for free right? That, that seems cheap to them. 
and I know that this doesn't have to do anything with, you know, raising a family, having a strong relationship. Don't think about that. We're talking about a uh, clinically insane woman right now, uh, addicted to, to, to the toxicity and, and anxiety, right? Don't try to make sense of it. Just know that when you give a woman validation for free, she's not going to value it if she is toxic, all right? And if you don't give it to her, then she will seek it out. Because you see, you know, it's like they have a garden uh, of like 300 sims that are giving them validation, but one of them is not. And, and they chase him, right? This is what happens with Char. Char just doesn't care if she's with her or with another woman. And, and that pisses her off. You know, that makes her want to secure that commitment that this guy is not giving her for some reason, as we saw on the introduction video, guys. So I will advise all men out there, if you are on dating apps, if you are on hook, in hookup culture, if you are looking for a woman, don't give them validation. Don't give them your time. Don't give them your resources, your attention, anything. It's not going to get you anywhere. And if you are this sort of like old fashioned, you know, what is called old fashioned right now guy that, that wants to have, you know, um, a real relationship with a woman and you say, Iran, I want to be a traditional man and I want to find a traditional woman who will value the attention I give, that's absolutely fine. But then be very careful because m most women, right, in today's society, 98 out of every 100 women will treat you like a clown for giving, you know, for putting effort into the relationship. So you can still be that type of guy that wants to give attention and, you know, secure the commitment up front. But then you have to be really careful uh, and, and not do it for the first few dates because you, you're going to end up a simp, essentially. But let's finish this TikTok. Where are all the hopeless romantics out there, guys? Where are they? Like, I'm someone that would put in a lot of effort, and I'd hope they would put in effort. Yeah, put effort for chat. Just to, you know, confirm that. For two. Not the same amount of effort, because, you know, we're human. But so, I don't know. I am I just asking for too much, you know? Or is is just... Or was I just born in the wrong time era? You could say that you were born in the wrong era. Meaning that if you were born... A century ago, society, you know, culture and your family probably would have taught you well as to what it means to be a woman and what type of man to go for. Uh, but that doesn't get you rid of accountability and responsibility. You have the responsibility to pick good men in today's day and age. You have to have that responsibility to not hook up and not waste your body with emotionally unavailable men. Right, and, and the same goes for men, gentlemen. You have the responsibility, if you want a relationship, to properly choose which women deserve your attention and validation. Because I do believe there are women out there that still value the old uh, system, you know, the really important things like morals, you know, what values does the guy have? Can he protect me? Can he uh, keep me, you know, make me feel secure, etc.? There are still women out there you know, supposedly, <laughs> who value those things. Uh, but you have to be extremely careful because otherwise you're going to end up giving your time and money. You're going to end up throwing uh, diamonds to the pigs, you know. So don't do that, gentlemen. Don't be sims. And, you know, all together, just I will recommend, uh, don't go to dating apps. And if you are this sort of man that wants to have something real, you're not going to find the love of your life on a dating app you're not going to find her in hookup culture. You're not going to find her at a club, all right? So that's my advice, guys. But leave me your thoughts down in the comments. And I'll be really happy to see you next time. Have a good one.